There was a time when I used to enjoy films like this one. I will kick back and, you know, really get a kick out of it. But that version of Jose Matias is not around anymore. There's some bits and pieces of him in my life, but for the most part, I have a completely different mindset when it comes to looking at films like The Joker. And that being said, the reason why I couldn't really enjoy this film is because of the way I think right now. I cannot simply kick back and enjoy a film based upon someone who is suffering from mental illness and because of his uh, condition that led him to other acts of cruelty and I'm not trying to uh, paint the, the, this character as a terrible human being because in the very beginning he wasn't he was just uh, an individual who was just suffering with a mental illness and due to the circumstances in his lifetime back in those days when Gotham City was down in the dumps, which reminds me of uh, how New York City used to be back in the 70s and 80s. 42nd Street, for example, was uh, covered, <laughs> was filled with pornographic shops, po prostitution, and the streets were so messy. It was just a, a terrible time and the crime rate was just through the roof. So this movie represented those times. And uh, Arthur Fleck, who is the Joker in this film, was living in that type of uh, environment. And I just, you know, this, uh, just to let you guys know, this video will contain spoilers. And I was just feeling so sorry for this character. I didn't feel this way when I was watching uh, The Dark Knight. I wasn't. When I saw that Joker, remember this was years ago, at that time I was really enjoying Heath Ledger's performance. I thought that it was incredible. And to this day, I still feel that it was a very convincing performance. It was, you know, something that wasn't done before. And uh, fast forward into 2020, looking at this version of the Joker, it, it, it just wasn't a pleasant experience for me because, you know, his situation you know, it, it, I tell you like this, it's, it's not a typical superhero film. It's not, you know, it's a DC film, but you really don't think of it as, uh, like a DC film. It, it's not Aquaman. It's not Justice League. It's not that. This right here is a unique movie about a man who is going through a lot of stuff in his life, the way that they treated him, the, the public, and uh, <clears throat> his mental illness, it, it's, I, I just, his situation alone just really took me away from the traditional Joker character that I'm used to, you know, and uh, Thomas Wayne is in this film, and I don't like the way he was portrayed. I believe that Batman Begins, that version of Thomas Wayne was on point. He was a very considerate, uh, rich person. And he wanted to do whatever, whatever was possible to make the city better. And his character in Batman Begins was a, a much, much better character. A much more enjoyable character to, to, to watch. This Thomas Wayne was a jerk. You know, he he looked to me, he looked down at the at the public to me. He was trying to run for office because he he wanted to prove to the the, the Gotham community that he's the right man to uh bring Gotham out of you know, the dumps that they were in. 
And uh, I just didn't like his character. It wasn't, to me, it wasn't really Thomas Wayne. It wasn't. And I understand that this is the director's perspective. This is his version of that world. But I just, overall, it, it wasn't a pleasant experience. I mean, there was a scene when, you know, uh, the Joker murdered his mother because he found out about her, her mental illness history. And uh, <clears throat> later on, you know, he got to a point that he just couldn't take it anymore. And then he decided to just, you know, have this uh, nothing to lose mentality. And when you get to that point, you could actually become the dangerous person in the world when you think that way. So I just wanted to say that I really couldn't enjoy this film. I'm glad that I rented it from Amazon. I didn't purchase it. And uh, I'm not saying these things to, to to trash the film. No, it's this movie was put together in a way that if you are really into this type of thing, you're going to walk away satisfied. As for me, speaking for myself, I I this is this is a film that I I don't see myself going back to because it's 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 a sad film. It's a very very sad film. And uh you know, that's my two cents. You know, it's I can see why this film made a lot of money. I think it's the number one rated R film of all time. Years ago it used to be The Passion of the Christ, but now I believe it's The Joker. You know, it's 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 a ride. It's an emotional ride. It's a depressing ride. And uh, if you have ever experienced depression, anxiety, or any other type of mental illness, when you go into this f film, this film might trigger some of those things, you know, in your life. And uh, what I mean by that is that, you know, before I close this video, I have to close it with this, that a lot of people f think that this film is going to cause people to run out there and, and murder people. Now, let me clear the air from a Christian perspective. It is very possible to watch or, or, or interact with something that is ungodly, right? And then from that ungodly experience, yes, it's very possible for that individual to run with that experience. And what I mean by that exactly is that the demons lurk in things like this. When I see, when I saw Arthur Fleck in this film, I can, e I can walk away from this film saying to myself, yes, that it is quite possible that this character was filled with demons because demons are capable of causing mental illnesses so yes i can i can say that this man was demon possessed now considering those facts right from a christian perspective if you are a believer who who has decided to just uh put out your nickel for this film expect to, you know, if you are in Christ, expect to walk away most likely feeling the way I felt. You're not going to enjoy it, so don't waste your time. It, it, it's, it's, it's not necessary, and I don't recommend it. And like I said, I'm not putting, the, the, I'm not putting this film down. This is just my personal opinion. This is the Preacher Man signing out. May the Lord Christ, Yeshua, bless you all and your families. And in Christ's holy name, I say, Amen. Peace.